Hello boys and girls, welcome to a new Let's Play. I am Mindflux24. I have been away for a while. Yeah, I can maybe explain why. I've just sort of lost interest really, but... Lately I've been playing this game and I thought it would be good for a Let's Play because it's a pretty cool game. It's for the PlayStation 1, it's called Clock Tower. And it's a point and click horror game. Now you might be thinking, horror game and point and click, how does that work? Well, I don't know really, but it does. It's moderately scary in some places. I played it for the first time about three days ago and I was really impressed with it, I really liked it. It's a short game, it's a really short game, so, so let's get into it. are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Here we go. As you can see, the graphics are pretty bad. Um, the dialogue's even worse, but uh, not as bad as Resident Evil no way near as bad. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over ten victims in this case. How intriguing. Most of the dialogue is just writing so I think I'll I'll read it out in a silly voice. Not this one though because I've missed it. Uh, in this part of the level, in this room, you just need to basically look at everything otherwise he doesn't let you go. A giant pair of scissors on the desk. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. Why is everything flashing red? No, because he's tripping. Let's have a look over here. Hmm, there is a faint smell of ammonia. Anything else to look at? Let's try the door. My laboratory. Lately I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. Hmm, the staff is still here. Let's go speak to the staff. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago, uh, and she looked really angry. Hmm. He just doesn't care, does he? Helen's desk. What's that? Says a man's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for... <laughs> I, got, I messed the voices up. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmm. I guess they want to sensationalize this. Scissor man, who really doesn't exist. Yeah, I guess that bit. A scissor man, it'd be cool if he was real. Huh? Uh, it's just a joke.
Whereas the desk clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Anything else to do in here? Because if you try and leave without doing everything, he, he complains and he doesn't let you go, so I need to just check. What's that? A statue. It's one of the items found at the scene. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. What's that? A stuffed animal. Looks like a prize. Alright, I think we're done. Ah, see what I mean? There's still something in here I need to do, but I don't know what. Why does it zoom in on his crotch? That's not me doing that. Right. Might be something over here. Oh, you could have went that way. Yeah, 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 the statue, you've already told me. Yeah, because you're certainly not an expert, you idiot. Talk to her again. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. Oh, I mixed them voices up, didn't I? Come on, let's get out of here. Hmm. I think I'll go this way. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on, th on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Let's go. Alright, so... Get in the lift. Yeah, run, 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 go on. I don't think there's anything even down there, so... She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Um, no. He's always so gloomy. He's top-notch, though. That's for sure. Alright, I do know that these are the stairs. And that's the lift. Ah, oh, there we go. I'll try to talk to him once more. First floor in it. Yep. That lift has no roof. What is this witchcraft? Oh, Professor. I am the one who called you from Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim. Timmy! I'm a bit busy. Keep it. Keep it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out a murderer? Is. I can't say anything yet for sure because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Why does he keep pausing in the middle of sentences?
Oh, nothing really, it's just we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. No, oh, come on. I'm sick of talking to people. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man. <laughs> Whether he really exists. Or not. That's it, that's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because your trashy gossip magazines keep sensationalizing the the whole thing. Out that hurt. Come on, just leave. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's a fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I say, but... Okay, that's it. Interview is over. There's something I must be attending to. Oh, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I couldn't be as much help as you'd hoped. No, go the other way. Leave. Oh. I thought you had to go out for some reason. Yep, stop talking to yourself and just get upstairs. Second floor, I think, isn't it? Yep. <coughs> Get out then. God, he just stands there. It took me about an hour to get to this bit last time I played because I just didn't know what to do. Oh, that's right, I need to get an expert. Opinion on this statue. Professor, that boy survived the clock tower. Murdered it here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Just toddle around in your own time. There is still something I need to do in here. Oh yeah, you need to talk to him about uh, the statue. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. Take that statue to an expert. Oh, no, there isn't anything else. Yeah, you can take that statue to an expert. Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yep, alright. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Burrows. I mean, <coughs> mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. He sounds like Batman. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Go on then. Alright, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? Well, where would I find a man named Rick?
Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything? About it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good, thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very, very, um, difficult. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. <laughs> oh no, I don't need to save because I have save states. I think I'll go out for a while. Who was that? Where shall I go? Uh, let's... Uh, should we go there? Nah. Mm, nah. But yeah, let's go there. Yeah, go on. Oh yes, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Why don't you ask? Hey Edward, what kind of boy are you? Sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting my position on my seat. I thought I would recognize your face from all the pictures in the newspaper. Oh, my name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he? Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Yes, I've heard. You were out there in Rutherford, weren't you? Making with you my strongest memory. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. This is hurting my throat. Can we leave yet? Well, I must be going. I like Harry for hearing you. See you soon, Edward. Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's um get back to this place. I'm going to see Helen. She should be in her lab. Yep, yep, okay, get in there. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? There's nothing much. I just came here for a little minute. Okay, what's going on? Alright, I've got an arrow. Oh really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. <laughs> oh, sorry. My hard drive crashed and I lost all the data. I've got to get it restored tonight. 
Let me see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, we we look here. Where am I going? Is it here? Do you know what? Um, this is playing out differently than I played uh, the other day when I played it. Because there are sort of alternate ways to play the game and it, this is different. And I'm going to get stuck. Oh, there's a man in the room. You're the reporter that came to the university. Yes, you know, aren't you? I'll play the common doll land. I've been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it's a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. <laughs> I bet you can't. And I'm interested in your toe. Huh? Hey, what do you say to have dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me, I just want... <laughs> I just want you to talk. Are you asking me about any of you are a day? Oh, well, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, you sly dog. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I haven't done this one before. It's very late. <gasps> Someone seems to be following me. What's gonna happen? I've never played this bit. 